A while back, I performed a procedure on a patient to remove an infected third toe from their foot. You can see they've already had their second toe removed, and in this particular situation, we had to remove the third toe. And the condition was something called osteomyelitis, which is a bone infection. And what's interesting about this is this is a diabetic patient who was under fairly good control. And when we remove previous toes, they actually use their other toes to try to grip the ground a little more for balance. And secondly, we have a condition called peripheral neuropathy, which is associated with diabetes where they start to lose sensation to their foot and their toes. They don't feel the ground properly like you or I would. And trying to balance themselves or grip the ground, they contract the other toes. And in this particular case, one of the remaining toes, which was the the third toe, it, it got infected. And it got infected because it was rubbing against the ground. It created a callus. The callus became so thick that it then ulcerated under the callus. And the toe became infected. And as a result of this infection, the patient's blood sugars kept rising. They then presented to my office and we tried to heal the toe and it just kept getting worse and worse. The wound kept progressing to the point where we then were able to diagnose the bone infection. We took an x-ray. You could see there was destruction of the bone under the skin. There was some drainage coming from the end of the toe. The toenail eventually fell off. And at that point in time, we deemed it necessary to amputate the toe. And within a week of having the toe amputated, the patient's blood sugars went back to normal. We're looking at a period now that's about 14 days after the surgery. We removed the stitches, and you're going to be able to see here after these stitches came out, we double check our incision, everything is healed, the patient's gonna go back into a shoe, and they're recovered.